Hey guys, I uh, have a couple of quick announcements and then we'll get to today's devotional. Uh, first, um, we have online giving now. Um, if you go to our website, uh, dnbc.org, so uh, Del Norte Baptist Church.org, um, and you go to the uh, tabs in the top right hand corner of our website, um, there will be one marked give. And if you click on that uh, link, it will take you to a, uh, another website, a website that is secure, has all kinds of wonderful security, and it will give you a very short process uh, to fill out to give online. So if you're kind of tired of coming to church and uh, forgetting your pen or forgetting your checkbook or forgetting your offering envelopes, uh, this is a wonderful tool that we'll have uh, to make sure that we're consistent in our giving and our faithfulness and everything else. And, you know, uh, as soon as you do make a gift online, it will send a email to your uh, uh, email address that you enter that tells you everything that you did. So, you know, it's really easy to keep track of everything. And uh, yeah, it's a great tool. Amber and I have already done it. And uh, if you would be so kind, there is a box on the second page of things uh, during the online um, giving uh, that says, would you be willing to add an extra few cents to help offset the cost of uh, the online giving? Uh, Amber and I have uh, promised to do that from now on. Uh, it's just a way to help make sure that it kind of offsets the cost that the church has for online giving. But you know, again, that's between you and God. Um, several of the people in the church are doing um, group chats, uh, video chats, um, on Sunday morning for their Sunday school classes, but not everybody is uh, able to do so. So Kevin Warner is going to be doing a, um, video, uh, Sunday school class that is open for, uh, pretty much anybody that wants to join. So if you would like to be a part of his class, please contact Kevin, uh, for any information that you need as far as the time and for him to give you the invitation, uh, to be a part of that Sunday school class. Centrifuge camp or mission fuge camp for the youth has been rescheduled. So all of my youth and all of my chaperones need to look at their calendars and write down the days July 16th through the 20th. Um, Glorietta Camps has canceled all uh, camps in June. So they have moved Mission Fuge for us to the 16th through the 20th of July. So um, if there is any kind of conflict or anything else like that, please contact me. I will see what I can do. Um, and um, let me know if there's any kind of a conflict or anything else and we'll see what we can do. But I'm so happy to announce that, um, it has not just been canceled. It has been pushed back a little bit farther and hopefully that can go through without a hitch. All right. So I am really looking forward to camp this summer, guys. Um, as far as our devotional for today goes, we're in first John chapter four, verses 19 through 21. We love because he, meaning God, first loved us. If anyone says, I love God and hates his brother, he is a liar. For he who does not love his brother, whom he has seen, cannot love God, whom he has not seen. And this commandment we have from him. Whoever loves God must also love his brother. Uh, I read this scripture passage because um, I think everybody can acknowledge that this passage isn't just for a brother, but also brothers, sisters, mothers, fathers, sons, daughters, and everything else. And um, I'm sure that on the first day of uh, you know this social distancing, you know, it was easy to, you know, play a couple board games and do things like that. And that loving your spouse, uh, sibling, um, 
child anything else was fairly easy. However, you know, three or so weeks in without respite, for some people, it's getting a little difficult. Love does not mean happy, bubbly feelings all the time. Sometimes love um, means caring for someone even though you might want to strangle them. Love can mean, love does mean wishing the best for someone even though they might be annoying everything that you have. So in this passage, we're called, we're commanded by God to love. And love isn't always easy, but it is a requirement to be a Christian. It is required of us by God. So whenever you're looking around and, you know, someone in your family has gone through a hundred dishes just to make, you know, one pot of macaroni and cheese, or if, you know, your someone in your family uh, is sleeping in until two or three o'clock in the afternoon and going to sleep at 930 at night, and it's annoying everything that you have, we're still supposed to love anyway. Love is not anything that's optional for us as Christians. So please pray, pray for strength, pray for courage, pray for patience, but at the same time, love is what we're all about, even more so than patience and uh, perseverance and anything else like that. We are people of love. Thanks guys and we'll catch you later.